The Friday night lights will flip on for the first time ever at this stadium. Oh, we are under an hour away from USA taking on Columbia in the Women's World Cup. Now, this is huge for a lot of reasons. It's Abby Wambach's last try at winning the whole thing. Brandon Allen posting video game numbers. He put up 442 yards, and on top of that, he scored the two-point conversion to win the game. If Little Rock can pull off the win tonight, they improve to 6-0. and That would be the best program start in school history. The Senators are facing Dover in what many are calling a rematch after Dover escaped with a 26-20 win last season. Four days after Chris Beard stepped down, the Little Rock men's basketball team has found its new leader. Little Rock Christians Demarie Crockett is one of the top running backs in the state easily, but what makes him even more special is his humility off the field. Jordan football has won three of their last four conference titles, but the program has never won a state championship. This year, one guy is giving the Go Devils an edge on the competition. On Friday nights in Gurdon, you won't find any stores open or anything. We won a lot of games over the years. When you hear Gurdon football, what does that mean to you? Everything. You know, we've got a group of guys that show up every day. They work their tail off. One of those guys has been grinding for the past 38 years. It's the world to me. It's the biggest time of the year for me. His name is Ronald Baker. Oh, Baker. He just walk out the field house and he just look at me and I just start laughing. Baker is the Go Devils water boy. And it makes me where I don't grow up. And according to the team, Baker hasn't. He just... He's like a big kid down there. He always patting us on the back, gives us good motivation. He's just like one of the teammates, I mean, to those guys. Baker takes great pride in taking care of the Go Devils. Uh, he gives us food, donuts every, every, for every game. Baker's does, and it's 13 donuts for $12, I mean, for the price of 12. I bet I've ate at everybody's house in this town. So, I mean, it's like me paying back. While Gurdon football is Baker's priority. As long as I make the football season, I'm good. He hasn't been his normal self as of late. Well, it just hurts, you know, and that he can't be out there with us. Baker has been battling cancer off and on for the past four years. But this June, he was diagnosed with stage four lymphatic cancer. Oh, it hurts. I mean, it's like I was shot to the heart whenever I heard it again, you know, when he had it again. Doctors told Baker he'd have three to four months to live without treatment, but he decided to start chemo once every two weeks to improve his chances. It makes me blah, I sleep all the time, it makes me real, um, like, drowsy or weak and tired. That's why Baker was struggling a bit at Meet the Devil's Night. He's a fighter. He just don't give up easy. Like any competitor, Baker isn't backing down. It means Jimmy? we better win state this year. Gurdon football has always been his passion, but now it's his escape. Makes me feel not sick, too. As he fights this ugly disease, Baker wants one thing, for Gurdon to win their first state title in school history. But it, it would be one of the high points of his life, I'm sure. Everybody really like it, especially Baker. I, he'll probably go crazy. But for Baker, it's not about him. It's about his teammates. I think we're going to win it anyways. I think we're that good this year. Little Rock's Chris Beard hoping to upset fifth seeded Purdue. 27 seconds left in regulation. Shoshi gets the rebound, throws up a prayer for a three, and gets a Trojan bounce. That'll cut the deficit to one with just 20 seconds on the clock. Now, 11 seconds left. Trojans down by three. Josh Hagen's cool, calm, collected from four or five feet behind the three point line. He gets it to go. Little Rock is going to overtime with Purdue. 20 seconds left in overtime. It's Hagen's again. Puts away two of his team high 31 points. We're knotted at 75 all. Purdue has time to answer with seconds left in OT. Vince Edwards with the air ball. Trojans Marcus Johnson with the ball. We're going into Double overtime. Are you not entertained? Arkansas up by two in the second overtime. Kimi Osei nails three of his seven points. Game changer. That puts Little Rock up by five. Purdue down by one. Six seconds left. A chance to win it, but they can't get the layup off. Chris Beard is going to kiss the floor because his Trojans will face Iowa State in the round at 32 this Saturday. Hagen outscored him 21 to 20 in the final five minutes of regulation and double overtime. Little Rock upset 